Hi there, my name is Olivia Lee and I am the RA for AOPI this year. And I am super excited to have the opportunity again to reapply for the RA or SJE position for next year. I don't really have a preference on where I'm placed, but I obviously have some experience in the Reeve community and really enjoyed it a lot. Um, but I'm also a nursing major, so maybe in Sanderson, um, but really wherever, I'll be happy to have this job again. It really um, broadened me as a person and as a whole and has taught me many things professionally, and I just hope I can continue to have this job on campus. Um, but I did pull up the questions on my laptop to kind of reiterate the natural interview flow between us today. So if you see me looking back and forth, that's just what I'm doing. Um, and the first question is, as a returning staff member, it is expected to be a leader on your team. How do you hope to impact the team and how would you help to provide a new experience for your peers? So I hope to impact the team as just being a leader, but also knowing how to work with um, my other coworkers that are above or on the RA or SJE level like I am. Um, I try to be super professional and just be in a team player really for this group. Um, I just want to be the person that they can depend on saying, hey, Olivia, can you get my stuff out of my mailbox for me? I'm running late today. Or can you hold the phone while I'm on duty? Because I have to go to church or I have to eat. Um, I just, you know, want to try to help out as much as possible because I enjoy when those things happen for me. Um, and I think it's only fair. So just me being a big team player obviously impacts um, the Reef team as well as me going into um, my future profession and hopefully next year. Um, and how do I provide a good experience for your peers? Um, I feel like I am the kind of person that's very outgoing. I'm very soft natured, but I also know how to enforce the correct rules and the right policies. Um, I have that spirit about me that I can, you know, dictate some resources for you. Since I am experienced on campus, I've been living here for three years and I've held many um, job opportunities here. So I just want to be that person that people feel that they can come to with anything or, you know, just to make sure that Reeve stays the most inclusive and supportive community. Um, and I think that that's how I help the peers or help my peers um, and residents in this community. Based on the feedback you received from the staff, eval, or previous conversations with your head staff members, how have you utilized your strengths to impact your team's success? Um, I feel like I am just a punctual person and I take my job very seriously and I always try to give it my 100% effort and I know that sounds pretty cliche, but it's true. Um, and I always feel like I am willing to improve. I know that this year has been kind of different and I've learned through a virtual format, but I've been trying to uphold my job ability to the best that I can. Um, and I'm always willing to just learn from the veteran um, RAs or just from my head staff. And how I make sure that I continually grow in this position is that I've asked, um, Alex and Macy and now Melody, which are all my head staff, like to kind of just keep me in the loop. Let me know how I'm doing. Just give me feedback for what I need to work on. And I take that as constructive criticism and I grow with it and I try to improve. Um, and I feel like I have this year, this last semester even, I have, you know, just grown more comfortable in myself being you know, more knowledgeable because I don't feel like I'm brand new, um, only being taught by Zoom. I'm, you know, have a great community that helps me um, work towards these common goals and that's to improve the community and, you know, keep things safe on campus and make sure that people feel supported and provided for and heard. Um, a time that I had to think critically to solve a problem or conflict while serving in the student staff member role. Um, I unfortunately did have quite an instance this past semester 
and um, I had a resident who was possibly just lost and I had um, some of her friends come to my door and they were just nervous for her because she hasn't been seen for an entire day and night and nobody's heard from her. She's not answering calls or anything and she um, unfortunately reached out to her ex-partner um, and the partner therefore reached out to me saying that she was possibly suicidal and so how i handled that was i knocked on her door i made sure that i couldn't get a hold of her first and then i immediately called the coordinator on duty um, to help me handle this because it is the top three um, big issues that the coordinator has to deal with which was possible suicide in this instance and um, then the coordinator helped me get public safety on the phone and public safety came and we eventually did find her in her room and everything was okay um but how i handled that was a for protocol and i would do the same thing um again but it was nice to just be able to fill out a maxi and understand the process as well because i learned from it and now i know for next time how to handle it even um quicker and possibly better um yeah, what did creating and community or what did creating and building your community look like this year? So this year, like I said, was a little bit different and I was really hoping to have, you know, quite the experience that I had with my previous RAs when I was a resident. But unfortunately with the COVID rules, it kind of had to look differently this year. Um, so maybe hopefully next year I can implement it and really um pursue that but I tried really hard to still stay involved. Um, if the women were comfortable with me coming into their room with the mask on, I would try to incorporate that into my weekly routine just to check up on people or keep them, you know, interactive in the kitchen. Or when I saw them doing laundry, I just have, you know, a quick little chat with them um, and just make sure things are okay. I became really good friends because, um, they are my sorority sisters, but I still made sure that I reached out to everybody. Even um, I had one affiliate, an affiliate um, on the floor this year and just made sure that I spoke to them, made sure that they were doing okay, wanted them to make sure that I was there for them for any, any of their needs. Um, and that's what I'm here for. And um, yeah, so, how have you focused your efforts on building a community that celebrates inclusive excellence? That's a great question. Um, through my res chats, I feel like I got to learn more about my sisters and the unaffiliate, or just all of my residents in general. I got to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation and I do have that opening like effect for these women. And they just were like super comfortable with telling me um, some personal, you know, traits about themselves which I find really flattering because that is just a huge conversation to have with somebody and very deep and personal and I just make sure that you know just like the bulletin boards that I make or the texts that I send out in the group me just are very inclusive that they don't really use like specific pronouns or anything because I know that some women in this community um, prefer to be called them or they or, you know, just be overall just respective or respectful for their um, wishes and make sure that other people respect their wishes as well. Um, how do you manage all of your responsibilities and weekly commitments? Um, that's a big one for me. Um, I do have a busy schedule with work and my schooling, but I also know how to organize myself very well um, and it just comes pretty naturally for me because I love being involved and I love staying busy and I don't really have such a big issue with time commitment. Um, I just try to stay on top of it and organized and I like to succeed in all of my tasks. So I just give up my all each week and I also make sure that I have time for myself, um, when I can to just mentally stay happy and be able to provide for others because I know I can't provide for others if I can't provide for myself. So that's super important to me. Um, 
how would you continue this into another year or what steps would you take to improve in this area? Um, now that I just especially know how um, the ropes of being an RA, I can plan for next year on how to maybe better time manage the bulletin boards or the reg chats. I even feel like this semester went more smooth with the reg chats by breaking it down to five a week instead of, you know, doing two one week and then having to stress and find seven the next week. Like I just have like kind of caught on to how the weekly flow and the meetings work. So for next year, I feel like I will be even more, um, I will use this as a, even more to improve my time management skills and, you know, to better them. And the residential experience and being an educator is a critical component to the student staff position. Um, what have you learned about yourself as an educator? I have learned that I really enjoy educating, which is kind of funny because that's just not my major. I'm the one being educated on most of it. Um, but it just really did mean a lot to me to sit down with these women and or them um, how and just have that one-on-one -on -one conversation about themselves and that they felt super comfortable to talk to me and just have that dialect and conversations deeper than what I would normally get um, if I was just another resident with them. And I enjoyed teaching them about identities or how to manage self-care or how to reach out to your professors or anything academic related or how to find tutors. I just really enjoyed being that person that they would go to um, or educate them on something that they've never taught and even being open to be educated myself about these topics. Um, it was really huge for me and that's what I feel like I've gained the most throughout this experience of being an RA. Um, and how did I help other students and peers learn about who they are? Um, I have just given them options or freedom and, you know, just help them help explain the differences in identities or really whatever the conversation is and just kind of was an ear and listened to what they had to tell me. Um, and not only did they learn about a lot about themselves, I learned a lot about them as well. And just, I think hearing somebody like understand or support you helps somebody be even more confident in themselves. And with that, I think it's just a huge opportunity and a goal for me um, to just make people feel comfortable and like themselves because that is what we learn how to do in college at this point in our lives is to find ourselves. And if I can just reach out to one person or have one person reach out to me, um, I just see that as me doing my job and I, I love it and I am super excited and hope to have this opportunity again next year. I'm sorry, I went a little bit over the time frame, but I just have a real passion for this. But thank you so much for listening and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.